Hey everybody, welcome to Speedway Motors. My name's Tim. I'm one of the techs here and I'm always glad you can join me. I'm here to talk about some old school Ford parts. I'm working on my Roadster right now and I'm trying to figure out everything I can when it comes to old drum brake setups. And we get a lot of questions about drum brakes here at Speedway too. One of the major questions I get is, Tim, what's the difference between self-energizing and standard juice brakes? Well, I hope I can answer that question for you if you don't already know the answer. I brought some pieces with me here today to talk about it. Now, this is a Ford brake assembly that would be called a juice brake setup. This is actually a 39 to 48 backing plate with all the, the pieces on it. Basically, I just pulled this out of a junkyard. It was on the front, front of my friend's 41 Ford sedan, and it's crusty. You can tell that. But if you look close, you'll recognize this thing. This goes on the front of a lot of old Ford hot rods. If you're out to the car shows, uh, you know, guys will you know, use this. It's a great looking backing plate. They'll drill it out for ventilation. I've seen guys put nice big scoops on these. They work. They do the trick, uh, but they're not self-energizing. The reason is, is because if you look on the inside, these things have a fixed pivot point for the brake shoe and then they're connected to the wheel cylinder up here. So when this thing gets pressurized, it pushes the shoes out and they make contact with the drum. Creates friction, right? Well, it stops the car, it does okay, uh, but when you press on the pedal, you sometimes have to press a little bit harder with a setup like this because it's not self-energizing. So what is self-energizing? Well, I brought a piece here to show you uh, that I can compare it to. I actually brought two backing plates. This is actually a, a Ford unit. This would have been really popular with hot rodders. This came off of a 53 to 56 Ford F100. So as guys found these trucks in the junkyard, they'd think, hey, that'd work really well on the, back, on the front of my old hot rod. Uh, they have the same bolt pattern basically as a Ford spindle, so they were easy to install. Sometimes you have to clearance it a little bit for the brake line. But this was a self-energizing unit, and you can see it's got a lot more parts to it. It's got a couple extra springs, and it's got an adjuster down at the bottom. Uh, so this worked really well. And I'll kind of talk about what self-energizing is with this 39 Lincoln style brake setup we sell here at Speedway. So you install this on your car, and the reason why they call it self-energizing, generating its own power, is because as you're driving and you apply your brakes, the, the cylinder is going to push your pads out to make contact with the drum. As they do, this thing starts to catch and then it rotates the whole assembly. And you can see how it pivots up here on this one pivot point. And then as it starts to catch, it drives this bigger pad into the drum itself. So it creates a lot of force on that, on that drum that typically wouldn't have been there with the old uh, juice brakes and the fixed pivot point. So as this thing moves, it creates more, more force on the drum. That's what the term self-energizing means. Not to be confused with self-adjusting because that comes later. Uh, later they decided that while you know getting in here and adjusting this is fairly simple to adjust your brake uh, pads, it'd be even better if the, the setup did it itself. So eventually they make a little swing arm down here that you may or may not be uh, cognizant of, you know, have, having worked on other cars that actually rotates this adjuster as needed to keep the brake pads always adjusted. So a pretty nice setup. But at any rate, I wanted to talk to you about what that concept was all about, self-energizing versus just standard juice brakes. So if you have other questions on brakes, give us a holler. We always like talking about old Ford parts. Check out my other videos. I'm going to talk in more detail about this Lincoln-style unit that we have and why that's great and some of the considerations for using it. We love old Ford brakes on the front of old vintage hot rods, so always happy to help you out. Thanks again for joining us. Again, stop back again soon. <music>